Greetings people, this is the 19th of June, so I'm doing a little bit of harvesting this evening, afternoon, whatever it may well be, and uh, you can come around with me and see what I've been growing. So I've got some quite detailed videos coming up in the future of how I've grown many of the things you're going to see today. So if you'd like to be notified of when they're up, please feel free to subscribe, you can like the video and share it with anyone you think may find it interesting and or useful. But anyway, so you can see here, I've uh, picked these. So I've got some calibres here. I grew two varieties of calibres this year, quick heading calibres and green heading calibres. So um, I don't only eat the heads, I also eat the, uh, the leaves as well. So you can see there, look, got some nice leaves there, really healthy looking and also some lovely heads. So really looking forward to uh, eating these. So down here I've got some peas. So this variety here is champion of England. We uh, had a bit of rain and some winds and uh, I didn't tie them up as robustly as I should have and uh, they blew over, but it doesn't matter. Got plenty of crop here. I also grew meteor over there and also a sugar snap pea called Jesse. So we'll have a little pick here and you can have a look at some of these peas here. Still got plenty to come. Some of the pods are quite full now, but uh, some of them have got plenty of room in them. So this variety, Champion of England, is a main crop pea, and then we'll do a little bit of picking. So this one here is quite a, a nice full pod. Let's have a look at it. There you go, look, some nice uh, peas in that pod there. So when peas are this sort of size, it can be quite good to boil or steam them. A bit younger, can be very nice to eat fresh. You can still eat these like this, but as I stated, a bit younger, they're nicer, you know, fresher. Loads of uh, crop on here. So, so far down here in the wheelbarrow, I've got uh, the calabrese you saw earlier and also some lovely peas here. So uh, enough there, hopefully, for a little saucepan full of peas. So I grew uh, many different varieties of beetroot this year. So let's uh, see what we've got under here. So notice that um, the beetroot here has made a nice size. So this is variety Malatka which if I remember correctly is from Kazakhstan and I noticed it got going really quick. So let's uh, pick some of these and see what we've got. Cool, look at that. Almost like a sort of a strawberry shape, isn't it? And this one here is a bit bigger or rounder. There you go, got two of those. So really I've got uh, plenty here. So this here is white albino beetroot. Really was impressed with this, I grew these last year and very vigorous makes size quite quickly in the spring or early summer so that there is white albino <clears throat> so under here this bit i've got a variety called golden detroit it's a golden beetroot as the name suggests let's get some of these out let's have a look what we got here they probably don't need the uh, mesh now you know they'll have made some good size because probably safe but, uh, towards the pigeons, but I don't want to risk it. So here we go, or well, safe from the pigeons, I should say. So there you go, Golden Detroit. So, so far, actually, they've made some of the uh, biggest roots. So uh, really nice there. Tops as well. So there you go. So we've got Malatka beetroot here. We've got white albino there. And here we have the Golden Detroit. So of course, when you uh, eat beetroot, you can also eat the tops as well. I think all that lovely nutrients there. So really good, really healthy, and still relatively early. So down here I've got some uh, volunteer potatoes, rogue potatoes, last year's potatoes, whatever you want to call them. So let's dig some up and see just what we've got under here. I grew an assortment of varieties last year. Shouldn't really leave them in the ground from year to year, but uh, you know, I have done and there we are. So let's see what we've got here. So here we go, got a nice uh, little harvest of potatoes here uh, with absolutely no effort at all. Let me know what you're harvesting this time of year, be interesting to know and other people of course will be interested to know and we can all talk amongst ourselves in the description box below and uh, just see how we're all doing really. So I will be making a separate video when I harvest all my volunteer rogue potatoes. I've got some here and some up there so um, they'll be coming up in the uh, not too distant future. So here we are once again down here. Got some lettuce here. Many have actually bolted. It was quite warm the other day, about 34 degrees C, and lettuces quite often don't like a temperature that warm and they can bolt. But uh, we've got a Lola Rossa here. We'll have this one. 
and this one here we shall have that as well so a very good with regards to lettuce so anyway that uh, concludes our harvest today so we've got calabrese beetroot potatoes lettuce and peas not bad at all there you go